Okay, this is the uh, Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting for February 27, 2020. And present are Louis Mission, Bill Mayor of PC, uh, Ben Byrne, Tim Hilchey, Pete Law. Okay, we have a couple discussions to go over here. And not much new business, really no official new business, but we have, uh, I guess the first one is Sparta from Growth Space. Could you come up and state your name and... Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm Sparta Gordon, and this is Kaylee Hepburn from Grow Space New England, and we buy sites in Massachusetts that are zoned for cannabis, and we build greenhouses and lease them to cultivators. Um, so this is a site that we hope to get done on Greenfield Road by Yankee Candle. Um, Kaylee, you want to say a little more? Sure, we're looking to put up um, two greenhouses on that site. They are each 13,200 square feet. We do have some wetlands issues, um, which is why we're here, just to show you the plan and how it's been engineered and see if you have any comments. So the part in the middle here, 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 our site is here. And then we have 200 foot bumpers around everything. Bowler Engineering does all of our site plans. So they have figured out where the wetlands are and what we need to do um, to not interfere with them. So we're just here to get your feedback today and just introduce you to our project. Okay, now, have you gone before the other boards at all, or? We've met with the, we did an informal presentation before the planning board, and we met with Robert Walden as well to show him the plans that we have to see if he had any concerns moving forward. Okay, here's the, okay. Uh, so you are going through the, buff, uh, the buffer zone with the driveway for the upper, uh, Cultivation <coughs> here is right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm opening up them. The drivers. Mm -hmm. The drivers. Now, is there a reason why it's down there? Um, I could ask Bowler why they put it, why they made it go that direction. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I'm just curious. I don't know if you would know it because this is only just informational. Exactly. Yeah. And and you know. Your uh, engineering outfit would know that because it is a buffer in the 100 foot buffer, you will have to, uh, you know, file an RDA or a notice of intent, whatever they suggest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, as I see it. But okay, and then. Um we might do solar along the back, that the skinny piece that comes up of Greenfield Road. We we're looking at um, a possible solar field over there. So, um, okay, so that, yeah, so that would include into the buffer also, right? Um, on this, yeah, the second. On the solar, the lower one. It might, yeah. That field that they X out is part of the buffer, but we could always exclude that piece of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's up for your, you know, mm -hmm. engineers to decide on right. that. Just that, you know, if they if it is in there, that'll be part of the well, the whole project part would be part of the, uh, you know, RDA or notice of intent, mm -hmm. and they would advise you because uh, the other boards will ask us or right. you know, about it or whether you know because it is a wetland here. So. Uh, Anybody got some questions for him? Yeah, I'm just trying to. Um, I, I think the the questions. Um, okay, here's Yankee. Candle, you know, we've we've seen what what Louis there. has talked about, and um, right, and these are condos. You know, I mean, uh, certainly you'll you'll need yeah, to file a notice of ten if, it, if it's like up here. this as it is. So, so this is. I, the but I see the, the plans are preliminary anyway. Up the yeah. fence yes. is ninety one. Yeah. So it's right here. This mm -hmm. is up that hill. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing all these informal meetings at this point, just so we can get all the board's input and see if we need to make any changes before we have something more set in stone. 
Well, for us, you know, you know we would just be, you know, overseeing whatever uh, encroachment on the uh, buffer zones would mm -hmm. be. And if your uh, engineers advise you to stay out of it completely, then pretty much we don't have a say. Okay. But right now, the way it is, you would have to file with DEP and and the right. you know the board here. So that's that's all you know. My only comment would be I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, I haven't. This is the first time seeing of this, and um, you know, having experience with Bowler Engineering, I <coughs> will look at it carefully. Um, can you go up and point out what property you actually are going to own for this project? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit here. This is right here. And then it goes out this way. And down and back this way. And, and the Jacob Yeah, that's the uh, <coughs> And um, this uh, driveway as proposed mm -hmm. is going through the wetland as opposed to is there any way that you could have a drive? It doesn't go through the wetland? I'll definitely ask Bowler about that. I'll talk to him about that. I mean, it looks like it's set up for right large, on large trucks to go in. Mm -hmm. Is that probably why it's this way, so trucks can get in and out easily? Possibly, but I'll, I'll have that conversation with them and see if they want to go through it. And speak, speak a little bit about your, your potential for solar field. Is that on this long strip? Uh, I don't know on the long strip yet. There's about a two meter pipe over there. So um, it's just at the front? Just in the front, yeah. They might, they've, they've given us all the space that we could do it, so there's another spot on this side too that is possible um, based on the terrain. But we're not sure how much we're going to do. Um, but we'd like to have the high energy solar to the greenhouses to mitigate the electric costs, both on the cost of cultivator and on the um, demand on the town. Solars. Mm -hmm. So you're going with the solar of the upper section all the way to the driveway. Maybe. You're mm -hmm. talking about here. Yep. Yeah, this is this is one of the sections and it's the but see here's the is the other everything right? that's cross hatched, is that solar potentially? Potentially. Yeah, so that's outside the two hundred. So it's not an either or, it could be the whole whole area two hundred right there. Right. So that part's out. This one's at the edge of the hundred. <coughs> This part back here? Where where the, where it's X'd out, it, right adjacent to the building site. If you all yeah, that all vegetation there. in there. Right, that's why I think um, I don't know if we do all the way back there, but part of our plan on all the sites that we do is to try and keep as much natural buffer around the greenhouse as we can. So we want you to be able to drive by the site and not really see it too much. So we'd like to keep at least the outer, the outer tree lines on all our sites. Mm -hmm. So is it trees and not really brush or? I'm not sure what all of it is. I mean, some of it looks like brushy trees, but. Yeah, some of it does. So I think that was the question, is that existing, are the existing trees or something being planted? This is all as it exists right now. Mm -hmm. And as you see it at this point, you don't envision the, um, removal of the trees along Greenfield Road because there's a there's a large um, right of way on that property and right along the highway. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the trees were there now and your solar array is set back potentially far from those trees. Yeah I'm sure that's why because they want to keep that natural buffer. Now is there a timeline? All this, or I mean, you're, um, you're, you're just going before the board says informational. But mm -hmm. What are what are your timelines you know, look like? We'd like to start building around August. It can be done before next semester. Okay. Yeah. And have you actually put in a site plan application? No. Okay. And this is zoned properly, so you don't need variances from the ZBA. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, we're, 
Or these are the buffer lines. Um, that's 200 foot. Here's the. This is what we're concerned with. This 100 foot. Mm -hmm. Right here. All the way. So basically, what the drive is, it's coming in. That's why I was questioning. Mm -hmm. You stay out of the 100 foot and you won't have to bother us with that. I mean, I guess there may be because the Yeah, it here. could be the uh, terrain, but it's all up here like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only other little bit is. This little corner mm -hmm. for uh, solar, which usually right. isn't a big deal. You're just right. you just set a post in. You know what kind of solar? I'm not sure yet which one will be. How you would do it? Most of the time, it's just a post here, so right. 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 it doesn't. It's not a permit. No. So, kind of um, yeah, I'm not sure how they would construct it. So that would be you know one of the questions. Of course, that would be part of the whole RDA or notice of intent, whichever like they say. Mm -hmm. So, so it would be just this area here, and then mm -hmm. this area here, and this here. Yeah. You know, here's the 50 foot, so they're right on the edge of that mm -hmm. little drainage area there, what mm -hmm. considered a wetland. Yeah. So other than that, everything else is pretty much outside. Outside or yeah, yeah, area. You know, we got this little bit here, and that's it. And this, you know, there's nothing going on here, so just that little corner right here. Mm -hmm. so. so this may or may not come in for Right. Okay. Yeah, so I guess up to you. So we do have an idea of what's happening. And like I say, you're uh, the engineering engineers or environmental scientists where you uh, have work and we'll advise you on that. Okay. Um, any other comments? No, it's about the long truth. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. Well, thank you and <coughs> maybe we'll be seeing you. All right, <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Good night. Thanks. glossy cards too. <laughs> how, many, how many grow spaces do you have so far? We're doing seven sites this, this um, spring and summer. Wow. In Massachusetts or? Yeah. And you have any existing in Massachusetts yeah. or these are all? We're all doing them all this year. Hopefully. Any in, the, <laughs> in the area here or? Um, Douglas here, um, Ashburnham, Orange, North Attleboro, Belgium. Oh. Mm -hmm. Keep, Keep busy. you busy. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good night. Okay, let's see. We have discussion with Deerfield, I guess. Deerfield for responsible development. Anybody here for that? And I guess, I don't know, do you have to do. Uh, I, I'm no longer part of the group. Oh, and I've, I've done a. I, I several months ago I did a you know 23B disclosure of appearance yeah. of conflict of interest and I don't think I have a conflict as long as um, you know well that's what the state tells me anyway yeah okay no I just you know <clears throat> just cover yourself too, absolutely and, and the town absolutely yeah I think uh, we should be as cautious as we need to be on okay. this okay uh, could you state Hi. who you are Good evening. Good I'm evening. Polly Stark um, on Keats Road. I'm Susan Half uh, in a butter on Mill Village Road. And um, we're here tonight to discuss um, an RDA for a proposed project on the corner of Mill Village Road and Route 5 and 10. Um, we have prepared a letter that we would like to read into the record. And this letter is signed by myself, um, Susan Half, who is an abutter, as she said. Uh, Amy Gazen Schwartz, who is also an abutter to this proposed project. Um, Deborah Shriver. Alyssa Clement, who is also an abutter to this proposed project. Kevin Clement, an abutter as well. 
George Noyes, who is here um, tonight, actually, and a butter as well. Uh, Joan Noyes is in a butter as well, and also Gina Crawley, who is in a butter that owns the Rock Fossil and Dino Shop. And uh, Susan is going to read this letter into the record for us. Now, how many pages is there? It's just one page. Just one <laughs> little, oh. little bit on the back. Yeah. Okay. Not an encyclopedia. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To the members of the Deerfield Conservation Commission, we write on behalf of Deerfield for Responsible Development a grassroots group that promotes development that respects Deerfield's historical character, preserves its farms and open spaces, and supports a vital and sustainable local economy. We know that you will be evaluating a request for determination of applicability, RDA, submitted by South Deerfield DG Series LLC or one of its associates in reference to the site of the proposed box retail store at the intersection of Routes 5 and 10 and Mill Village Road. Since application was made to develop the site for a box store, DRD has observed standing water and wetland plants suggestive of wetland conditions in the abutting mass dot right of way and the lands belonging to the Condominium Association. To check these observations, in December of 2018, DRD hired Kate Bednas, a freshwater wetland services of freshwater wetland services to examine the abutting properties for an expert evaluation of wetland conditions. Ms. Bednas is a professional wetland scientist and registered soil scientist. Her report and resume are attached to the, this letter for your consideration. Ms. Bednaz dug four test pits and examined the abutting properties. She found hydric soils in all four locations, evidence of wetland plants and standing water, three criteria necessary for identifying a wetland. She also noted that two test pits with wetland conditions were located on either side of the existing gravel driveway, raising concerns that wetlands may have been filled to create that driveway. In its latest iteration of a site plan as presented at the public hearing of the Zoning Board of Appeals on January 23, 2020, the applicant proposed moving the driveway entrance further north. This could necessitate filling in wetlands in the state right of way to create a new driveway. Ms. Bednas also examined the site evaluation report prepared for South Deerfield DG Series LLC dated August 3rd, 2018 and noted important deficiencies and errors, which she outlines in her report. In light of these observations, DRD requests that the Conservation Commission consider three steps. One, hire the, at the applicant's expense a qualified, i.e. professional wetland scientist and registered soil scientist, independent wetlands expert to conduct a full wetlands analysis and delineation of the proposed site of a box store and abutting properties. The Condominium Association and owner of the Rock Fossil Dinosaur Shop have provided letters of permission to the commission which are attached. Permission from MassDOT is pending. This wetland expert should have no ties to the applicant or its partners or subsidiaries, and no prior review of the wetlands and environmental issues related to this site for the town. Task two, task the wetlands expert with de determining where wetlands in the mass dot right of way drain. Ms. Bednaz could see water flowing into a stream near the rock fossil and dinosaur shop. 
According to staff at MassDOT, that water flows north into a conduit beneath routes five and 10, crosses the road under, under the road, just south of the Atlas Farm property, where it appears water enters a bordering vegetated wetland and feeds Bloody Brook. This apparent relationship should be checked for accuracy if water drains from this site or adjacent properties into Bloody Brook. The proposed development may pose further risks of flooding in the properties adjacent to the brook. Re three, require that the landowner of the proposed box store, South Deerfield DG Series LLC, and any associated par parties refrain from mowing vegetation on the proposed box or site for a period of time sufficient to allow sufficient regrowth of vegetation to establish whether wetland plants are present. That's it. We thank you for the opportunity to present our concerns and for, cons for your consideration of these requests. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, and I also have here copies um, for the commission members that have the wetlands report attached to it. Also, there is a letter of permission from Gina Crawley, who owns um, the Dinosaur Fossil Shop, and the Condo Association, which are both of Butters. Um, therefore, um, when this applicant does come um, for an RDA, you will already have permission from the um, adjacent properties. So I'll give these to you now. And there's a member that's not here, is that correct? Or is this no, we no, are this full. Is, this is it full? now. Okay. <coughs> sure I have extra copies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. On this now, you're saying the applicant is re going to request the RDA? Um, well, the Zoning Board of Appeals, which, as you may know, um, are being our special permitting authority, has the highest permitting threshold, discussed with the applicant requiring, among other things, that they will need to have an RDA from this commission. Um, so we do anticipate that at some point they will be coming to you for that RDA. Okay, because right now what we do have is the board, the board has changed. Uh, we did a site visit on that back in uh, November uh, 2016. And we uh, determined that there was no issue with the uh, wetlands or was nothing, no concerns. Okay, and they went through with the, uh, and I don't know if you've had the plans reviewed by uh, anybody, you know, for Dollar General or the site, let's put it this way, the site for the building. That the town, or the planning board did send out for review of that site, and the planning board requires a stormwater management, which means water and everything has to stay where it is, you know, it can't, you can't add to it. You have to have a retention pond type thing and uh, what drainage is there has to be kept. Okay, and that's, you're talking about the, along the driveway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, so now with that, that stormwater management, the town had a peer review done for the planning department which is part of any of the uh, notice of, you know, if, they do, if we did a notice of intent, that's part of the uh, requirement is a stormwater management. If, you know, and that was reviewed by the engineers for the town 
and under that uh, stormwater management, there's four, you know, so it's, it's a long form, quite a few forms, longer than your letter. And uh, one of the marks checked off is no disturbance to wetland resource areas. That's what was checked off, and it was reviewed by tie and bond for the town, the whole area there. And they, and I got some of the response, and I believe you asked for that response, or some of the response, I think some of the paperwork yeah. from the zoner or planning, or, and I just picked up some the other day and just looked at it quick, and they have no issues in that area. So that's, that's what, I, you know, I have. It's been reviewed. Well, so they re the review that Ty and Bond did was on the actual property itself. Um, the identified wetland area is in the right-of-way, which is an extensive right-of-way that goes towards the property from the edge of the road. Um, this was not done on the actual property itself. Um, so I am familiar with that report. I've read okay. it as well. And also... Um, the planning board did deny the stormwater permit along with a denial of the site plan, and currently it is still in a denial phase. It has not been approved. Okay. Well, that's, I think the whole project is, is part of it. You can't approve that part and have the, everything change, mm -hmm. the building and everything and the park in. And that's all part of it. Yeah. So their so, initial site plan didn't even um, meet that standard for the planning board to approve the stormwater um, either and at one of the hearings, um, I forget her name. She was with Ty and Bond, but she did say that the groundwater is very close to the surface. Right, and that, that's she, one thing. It can be wet land, but that doesn't mean it's, it's it, wet land. Exactly, which is why we would really like to have a true and thorough evaluation, including checking for hydric soils, which are an indication of wetland. Currently, the landowner has been maintaining this parcel by mowing it. Um, and we would like to see what kind of vegetation grows up, which is another um, marker of a wetland that's used. So I feel like to get the true picture of whether it is or is not, which I know that the ZBA would certainly need, um, that should be one of the considerations, and that's why we're here requesting that, so that we can know for certain um, whether or not there is a wetland on the actual parcel and not just in the right of way. There also was detected in the um, area to the abutting property of the parcel as well. So that would be um, the north side if you're standing in front of the parcel and Mill Village Road is on your left, the abutting um, side that's on the right. There was evidence of wetlands found there as well, which you will see um, in Kate's report once you have a chance to review that. Okay. Now, did your... Uh Wetland scientists advise you on any anything here on the size of the wetlands because you know it's got to be a certain size, and then it's 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 not an issue. Well, she did it's express a, you know, um, the concern. It's an isolated that, wetland that. Right. So that was one of the questions as well. But she did express concern that. Um, Although the land area on the parcel itself has been maintained and mowed, that there, it's a very good chance that that could actually still be classified as a wetland by scientific standards. And also the concern that it could be a jurisdictional wetland and not a standalone because it is actually flowing um, towards the, into the Bloody Brook. So she recommended that full, proper delineation. Um, to be done, and so that's oh. why we're here advocating for that as well. It's, it's considered, I, I see it as flowing to the Bloody Brook is a, a, a drainage swale, and we've run into this along 5 and 10, and uh, just recently that up along Yankee Candle and all that area there, you have those swales that are, yeah. are taking water at times, but are not wetlands and they're not under jurisdiction. I think that was what um, warranted some further investigation to see if that flowing into the Bloody Brook is considered a jurisdictional wetland or not. Um, okay, it's so. As opposed to just a swale we're, of drainage. We can't, we're not going to do anything or we can't do anything because mm -hmm. there's nothing officially to vote on. 
I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. it's, and you know, if we get an RDA, then we will review it. And I talked to DEP today about this, and I think they've looked at it prior when we voted on it the first time. And they say if, if you want it investigated, and if, it, you know, if we don't have an RDA or we feel the RDA is not, it's not a, a it, we give it a negative determination, there's no problems with uh, affecting the wetlands, then you can file your own RDA, okay? You could, with DEP and you have to give a copy to the owner. That's if you go that way. Mm -hmm. If you disagree, mm -hmm. then you file, you can file your own RDA. If we disagree with what, with can you clarify that for me? Say, we don't get a RDA request. You're saying that mm -hmm. it's, one's coming. I haven't seen anything. Um, well, an RDA would be required to develop the site. So at some point they will have to bring it to you. I know that they haven't yet. They haven't provided a lot of things that they need to satisfy. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just. But if know. they do plan to develop the site, which as far as we know they do, they will be required to come to this commission um, to get an RDA. And so that's why we're here to advocate for this. Um, we are aware that we could request one, but we are also aware that then the full cost of that would be onto um, us as right. residents and of the town. And we considering. Would get one in we would have to send it out for peer review and you would have to cover the cost of that. Right, and so um, we really feel that this responsibility does lie onto the applicant, to the folks that want to develop this parcel, which is why we're not um, putting in a request for an RDA at this time, but um, okay. we do know it'll come before. I just wanted to make sure you, you, mm -hmm. you're aware of, you know, No, I appreciate that, that thank you. you. Can, you yes. know, appeal it type thing or right. just, you know, appeal to DEP and stuff on right. this, I just, you know, because I did talk to DEP about it. Yeah, so um, one of the other considerations, you did mention that there was an RDA, and I, I am aware that it has expired, is that um, there was a clear cutting of all the trees in the right of way at that parcel, and that happened in April of 2018. So um, since then, you know, the parcel, having that clear cut, um, not having those mature trees there, has really uncovered um, more aspects of wetlands. So I think um, there seems to just be a, a lot more evidence at this point of them being present, as you'll see in this report. Um, so essentially, we're just requesting that when it does come to this board, that you give it your full attention, that you give it a very thorough review. Um, and we've outlined that with those tasks in the letter that Susan read about having a registered soil scientist. That is a really critical part about wetlands, as you may know. Um, and also to request that the landowner allow vegetation to grow on the parcel itself, which is another marker to identify wetlands that the landowner is currently not allowing to be part of any RDA that could pot potentially come up. Well, I don't know about that part because you, you could tell anybody to, if you let the, you know, not maintain your land, then you know it's gonna it's gonna change. Yes, and, but I mean, um, you, if you had if you lived near a brook and you had, and there's a lot of in town. There's the, the brook, Bloody Brook is one of them, where people mow right up to the pretty much the edge. But if they leave it alone, it's gonna change. Right, and that change is what know. we're interested in seeing. If there are plants that are markers of wetlands that grow there, it is not uncommon for. Um, conservation commissions to request for a period of time um, to have vegetation grow up in those areas. Okay, well, that's not for us to decide so. right now anyway, so. Right. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's got any questions or comments or anything. I just was absent at the meeting in November, I think, and um, did, did you have a uh, request for determination extension request come before you? Uh, there was word of it, and uh, was there was no official because uh, I talked to DEP, and you cannot, you know, have an extension on RDA. Okay. So. So the RDA is done. It, it's all over. So. So it's lapsed. So it's lapsed. There's no ruling on other than 
we looked at it before and we said there was no issues. Mm -hmm. So either we wait for another RDA or you have to file one. Yeah, we just wanted to get this in front of you now so that you guys had this information and also had time to re review it because there is a report here and that stuff does take time to process and read through. Um, and also that you have copies of the letters um, when it does come time to um, do that delineation onto properties that are not just by the landowner the, um, or the applicant um, for that specific site. It also is for the abutters as well. And did your consultant... I did, I'm just trying to, you know, find out, to help you, did your consultant advise you that just because there's a, some wetland and buffer, you heard us talking just prior, that if there's uh, some, uh, if it's in the buffer zone, that doesn't stop construction or anything. Correct, but it would change the site plan, which is another consideration, because there would be a buffer zone if there is a wetland there. Um, so these are all things that we feel really need to be taken into consideration before any potential development comes into this parcel, no matter what that development would be. Is there any anything on the wetland buffer on the private property? Did she flag it or anything like um, that? I'm sorry, what, what do you mean by that? Is there wetland? Well, you're saying wetlands and stuff. There's, did she flag the limits on the private property. No, she didn't go stuff. on to the private property. Not not the corner, but on the condo association or on the rock rock place. Physically you know, abutting, just so abutting so the Did she physically put flags? And she has photographs in here. Yeah, I'm, but no, flagging exactly where the limits are and stuff. She did not do a full delineation. Mm -hmm. So that she did not flag all of those sites in that way. Because that that is, you know, of course, you know, this is, you know, we'll look at it and we'll go out there and we'll invite, but, you know, seeing there's no flagging or anything either. The yeah. test pits are on this test pit location page. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about where those are um, and which properties they're on? Yes. So there were. Um, this page. Okay, you're looking at those four maps. There was test pits done on both sides of um, a driveway that is there now that actually is not permitted to be there, but is there. Um, so there were test pits done on either side of that. <coughs> I'm just going to take a look here. And So, Tali, is that photos 1, 2, and 3? Yes, so it's marked with 1, 2, and 3. So um, the test pits that would be on either side of the driveway would be 1 and 2. That's on this page, uh, Bill. And that would be, I think, is oh, it okay. almost? Uh, uh, it's the second to last page on the report. And so as you can see, this is from Google Maps, and this shows um, all the area where that used to be forested that was that natural buffer that we see all along 5 and 10. So that was clear cut all the way up to the um, dinosaur rock and um, fossil shop. And where are pet test, test pits four and three? So that's over um, onto the abutting land of the um, condo association there. And let me just flip through here. So that's not on the specific property? It's just that is not on the parcel itself, okay. correct. Okay. So if you look at this photo, you can see how part of this parcel has clearly been mowed. Currently, that's what the landowner has been doing. They've basically been mowing that area. So no vegetation is allowed to grow up through there. But you'll see in the, the photographs where um, it is the right of way, how a lot of different vegetation is coming up. Um, and this was done at a, a time of the year when it was just um, getting to be pretty cold. So again, obviously a, a proper delineation would need to be done during the warmer, the warmer times. Um, let me just briefly go through here so that I can talk more about the test pit. No, I think we're all set, really. I mean, we can't do anything. 
Oh, no, I understand that, and, but I just wanted you know, to be sure that you had then, the bulk like of knowledge. Like you're saying, if there's an RDA coming, then we will have to review that, you know, that RDA and whatever information they, they provide. And then if we have to, then we go out for a, a peer yeah. review or something. Once they come in and bring their paperwork, we'll have to make them jump through the proper hoops and, right. and kind of go from there. Yeah, so... So um, not necessarily saying we're going to use this because this is somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be somebody that the town, you know, that we decide or that the uh, owner agrees to pay for if, if we require peer review. I, I understand that. I guess... Um, what I want to just be sure that we're, that I'm clear to communicate is that we're requesting that when that time does come, that the town does hire, and it'll be at the applicant's expense, um, a wetland scientist and registered soil scientist as well. Unfortunately, with this particular developer, they have come to our boards um, with information and um, that hasn't been done correctly and or has been incomplete. And so um, we are just in a place where we want to be very thorough of everything that, you know, happens with this development, knowing that they may not necessarily have it in their best interest to be concerned about this wetland, but as residents, we're very concerned, and we just want to be sure that it's evaluated properly. Okay. So. Anything else? Take it under advisement. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, you for your time. next I don't think anything else is nobody else is out there for any other questions or business okay I guess we uh, so at this point we don't have any new business for no nope, for no, tonight no business no new business no old business it's just pretty much just the discussion information. Okay. All right. We have the minutes to review. And we have minutes to review. Let's see. I'll let ben wasn't here, but he can take a look. Pete was in. Let's see what we got. So I don't see any um, any uh, any errors in here. So I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as written. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And on that root or root or root five and ten, there number ten Greenfield Road. We did get. I don't know if you recall. We wanted him to uh, change yeah, that eighteen inch. Yep. And you got the. And I did get it. a letter. Now it's in the mail here. Oh, here it is. Heritage. No, culvert pipe has been chained in straw waddles. Mm -hmm. So. So that right. met the condition. So we received yeah. the, uh, the. The letter confirming the okay. change. Mm -hmm. And the. Is that the old uh, Deerfield Plastic building there? Yeah. I wonder where they wanted to cut a new driveway down the end. At the north end. Yeah, north at <clears> the end. And uh, and that's where we ran into the same thing with a little bit of water in the edge of road here on five and ten. That, uh,
And Mark was, you know, I guess happy with that. Simpson, so. Okay, so uh, minutes were approved. And I made note of re uh, reviewing that mail. And we're, we had the mail from number 10 too, right? Oh, we got mail for, we wanted, oh, you guys, uh, let's see, what's this? This is, oh, about the dues. Are you guys going to the conference? Are you going to the conference? I'm, I'm not, not able to attend no. the conference this year, no. No, no, okay. Oh, okay, because Mark was wondering if he I said, it, anybody go, and I said, I, I'm not sure, I think so. Yeah. Is that the Mass Association? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, it was a good conference last year, and we had a chance to talk with, uh, with Mr. Stinson, so I just I'm not able to attend this year. I'll try again next yeah, year. I have a conflict with the MVP um, municipal vulnerability preparedness, so I, I couldn't go. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, this is oh, from Peter, a letter from oh, okay, <laughs> requesting that he was interested. Yeah. Which I'm glad you. So I, I've become the clerk. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my name is on something, then I usually can see it. I just, and, you know, I just, dear Phil Conk, I didn't even pay attention. Thank it's you just, for assigning me as clerk. I just picked it up. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Guilty so that's uh, exactly. I knew if I sit next to Ben and Louie that something would happen. <laughs> you become important that way. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so National Grid's got uh, some maintenance work. I, know I just want to look at the cover letter. And same thing with Eversource. Doing some maintenance, spraying and pruning. So maybe an opportunity it. for Peter to, to know that them. really <laughs> they're just letting us know. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, they did yeah. have the, uh, I forgot under the different laws and stuff they're allowed to, yeah. we want to have electricity, so. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> so there's that. Right, I'll look at that one. Let's see here. Oh yeah, these things. End of the month reports. As you know, none of them change. And usually they don't, yeah, until less Bill or I go to a conference. Yeah. So we got December, it's all the same, has been the same. Available 513 out of our 800. January. It's been pretty quiet. It's surprising. Usually, and so that's through February. In February. So usually what I do is I just re reviewed and approved. Yeah. There's nothing to. So we'll do that. You can tell Brenda to come out and tell, him, tell us that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's in the other room. Oh, is she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the uh, finance committee's meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I think you got emails on this. That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we get a. That was yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the. Um, that's actually why we're not. Uh, this is the the meeting that's coming up. Um, no, this is not. What, what the meeting that's There's coming up one. on Saturday, that's, the 29th. That's a yeah. That's a. Climate change symposium. Oh yeah, yeah. Vulnerability, yes. vulnerability preparedness. Well, here's a cutting plan if anybody wants to. Municipal vulnerability. That. Municipal vulnerability preparedness. Yeah. So what what is this for? This cutting is, plan. Just they they just let us know that there's one in the area.
So why do we get these, Louie? Uh, I think it's just a requirement because usually the state, what they do is they oversee if they go into wetlands and stuff, they have to present this to the, uh, you know, the state forester, DCR, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, so it's just kind of like an informational for us that in case someone probably complains that hey they're tearing up an area there, yeah. then you know we can say well they're doing logging and it's been approved by is it DCR or I'm, I'm not sure who. it says for DCR use yeah it says we received this on January 26th and um, the proposed start date was the beginning of February so it's moot at this point if they did actually start yeah um, but it's you know it's they have to pretty much you know, mm -hmm. go by uh, the conservation rules you know for the state DEP and yeah, you know, crossing streams, they're allowed to, you know, to do it, but they got to do it, you know, certain ways. And most of the loggers that do have this is, uh, they know exactly what they're supposed to do. And uh, mm -hmm. because when I was on the, uh, so this is when the, I was on the water commission, we had, we had to have these made up and approved by. Yeah, you know, I don't know where this is at, but I, I also sit on the board for the Acomptic Ranch and Land Trust up there. Yeah. And so Harry's doing some logging. It might be this one coming up, but they sent us a notice on that that went through his forester. It's going through the state forester. Owner, yeah, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie Sadowski. Yeah, yeah, that's, up, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. going up that so, way. Yeah, they haven't started yet. And I'm actually going to meet the uh, forester here in the next month or so to walk it. Hmm. Yeah, so. Peter, is yeah. that, uh, they talking about uh, following the uh, right away from the water? Uh, is that what when you say that uh, uh, on, I, on the they're ridge? They're coming up from uh, uh, River Road. Oh, okay. Um, there's a brook right there. I think there's an access coming down um, hillside, uh, not too far up yeah, past that storage there? barn. I think there's an access up through that area. Yeah, there's that a couple cuts up. Now there's there is a brook that comes down to Clap Pond that comes from more northerly direction and out of Clap Pond and then back right. down towards River Road. So there's access from North Hillside, then there's access from Hillside too. There would be, I don't think there's access there from North Hillside because that would then run into the ridge. Oh, okay. But you would have access, I think the access actually comes off of River Road. Okay. Just north of where Hillside comes into that. Oh, okay. I think it's that, well, I haven't looked, seen the plan plan, but I think it's on the easterly side of the, there's about 125 acre woodlot preserve up in there okay. on the top of Pocumtic, on the east side of Pocumtic Ridge. Okay. And this would be east of that. Okay. They had forested that a few years ago with the hemlock issues um, mm -hmm. on the northern part of the lot. And now they're coming back for some harvesting on okay. some additional spots. That's what my understanding mm -hmm. is. Oh, okay, here, yeah. Yeah, so it's not, it's not clear cutting, it's just selective cutting? Or is it they're clear cutting through 35 acres? I understood it to be selective, but I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, when I was reading it, it seemed like it was yeah. selective. So, yeah, here, so here, here it is. 18 to 24 inch pines and some, okay. some, some maple and oak as well. Yeah, so what it looks like, here's River Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's the power line. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just beyond maybe so where the power and, and line is. I don't know if you know where Bernie Sadowski lives. Mm -hmm. You know, where the, day, uh, where the lilies are. Day Lily place there, yeah. yeah. That, it, that's there, and so it, looks like, that, it yeah. looks like it's that road going or going right up the ridge there. In between. There is that access road, and there might be another access coming up just to your in uh, this On the area power too. Line, I think there is. It one. might be coming across yeah, there. Yeah, power line. Yeah, mm -hmm. that comes off a of river road a little further up. So I'm yeah. not sure if they're coming in here or coming up on that road that they put in that comes up over the ridge. It looks like they're on this side. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The skid road or yeah skid road coming down and there's probably then that probably so it looks like it's down the lower end of the, the lower end, end yeah so the, the your ridge is up here the ridge would be up here and this is kind of preserve and the, the so brook does, comes down this does way. this mean that this is the cutting area and this is the cutting area yeah according to the legend I just trying to learn how to read these things and then this and this that's what it looks and like, it appears to be. This is a whatever filter strip. I'm not sure what that means, but what does that mean? Anyone know? Filter strip. 
maybe for, maybe uh, for the uh, erosion control. Yeah, they're maybe, probably, maybe they're bale, they're they're hay bales and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, erosion control of some yeah. sort. Okay. Yeah, who did this? Let's see who did that. I get his name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's the guy I talked with. Yeah. So. So we get these yep, once in a while. Yeah. Just to let us know. So. Yep. Okay. Yes. We're keeping my eye on that one for another reason. So. Yeah. I'll be meeting with Harry and walking the the property here pretty soon. Okay. This is a report summary for the year. Companies. Just uh, vegetation. I mean, it actually doesn't look too bad. You know, Where's so that? Seems to have grown in. Yeah, right at the uh, entrance off Route Five and Ten. Of which Cumbies. Oh, Cumbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had some uh, erosion problems here, yeah. coming off of Five and Ten. And, uh, everything seems to be growing pretty well. And which area did they have to do restoration in? Uh, let's see how this is looking. Facing west towards five and uh, basically, well, probably in there. A little bit here, but the other side. Yeah. On the on the south side. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty much the rest. Of, you know. Yep. Both sides of that. I stopped out there, be, you know, a few times there in the fall. And yeah, I went out there with you once. Yeah, doesn't doesn't look too bad. And at this point, we're just requiring, is it annual? Uh, it, yeah. It's pretty much DEP because okay. it's. Okay. Uh, and these are sort of courtesy to us. Or? Well, it's it's part of the the whole notice of intent. Right. When we did the that entrance, right. and DEP. You know, it's we we can't sign off on it basically until DEP signs off on right. their uh, mitigation you know, and mitigation. Yeah, the mitigation area there. You know, DEP's got a I think it's a two year restriction on it or something. I believe so. If we see something, you know, we can't sign off on a certification for the project and until DEP is happy. So the consultant is part of the agreement is they, they send uh, reports. They'll you know, send a few more this year. Okay. The other things, we're a little late on these, but I guess Eversource or Pine Nook. Pine Nook Road, they want to put a new antenna up on the, on the ridge. Yeah, that, I saw that. They came to the ZBA, I think, about that. Oh, yeah, that was the last ZBA meeting. Yeah, yeah that was time. back in December. Yeah. They asked for comments. And, and what was this other one? They were pretty much minor, so I, I we needed to have a meeting just for writing no comment. Or, mm -hmm. so Gave them our official comment? Our yeah, our official comment of no comment. <laughs> Let's see, this one is for Oh, that's a special permit for it. So I believe that's the that the special permit uh, would be the one that went in front of the zoning board, correct? Yeah, that probably was a request for comments. Yeah. In advance of the ZBA meeting. So we'll probably have to get another request for comments at some point in the future. Yeah, they keep, uh, I'm not sure. I didn't follow the last meeting they just had, I guess it's. Okay, this is special permit for 127 North Main Street for, I guess uh, it's another zoning for a permit for accessory apartment. So that's something we don't have to comment on. And let's see, this one here, I don't know if there was talk, and the same thing with the zoning, I don't know if you're familiar with the 6 North Street. It's right over here by the barbecue place, okay. along the railroad tracks, Okay. where he is, and the next building, you know, headed north along the railroad tracks. 
Oh, okay. A, okay. I'm yeah. not sure what they actually do there, but uh, they so, want to put an addition. So if, if this they want to put an addition, if this is the barbecue and this is Elm Street, well, where 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 is the so of? in between leader, right? In between leader and the barbecue, it's it's on the same side as the barbecue. Let's Along the tracks, that long so, building there. Yeah, there's a there's a. Let's see if we can long wood construction building there. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, now I gotta put the glasses on. <laughs> It's, it's not fine, from it's not fine print. Okay, let's see. If you're coming from mm -hmm. 5 and 10, go over the railroad bridge, take your immediate left right there. And as you're going down along yeah. Leader, there's that long building right yeah. alongside the railroad track. Yeah. But if they're asking just for a request for comments... Glory. There's no wets home, so we have no comment. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> um, yeah, okay, here we are. Okay, this is, I believe this is the uh, barbecue place right here. Here's the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the barbecue place. The railroad tracks leaders over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so leaders over here and there's this building here and they want to come into this area and build. Let That's my understanding. So closer to, to, um, to Elm Street. To Elm Street. Okay. Okay, because they can't go this way. There's the steel shit or Gory, Blake Gory's fabrication. Yeah. <laughs> so what they want to do is they want to come this way, and they have to go before for a special. Mm -hmm. uh, zoning permit, yep. I guess, and I don't know if that's gone through yet or... I haven't heard anything. No. And, because uh, it's, you know, it's a small, small lot, mm -hmm. but they'd be taking up quite a bit mm -hmm. of it. So would it be an addition to this building? Yeah, that's, let's see. I mean, we don't have a comment, but yeah. we can look at it. Yeah. Okay. Where are we now? We're at B and M. Okay. Existing. <laughs> trying to figure out how this. Grading, we don't have grading, demolition. Oh, so it sounds like they're taking out some. Taking out something in. Contractor test pits. Existing building. So this must be. <coughs> Erosion control. I don't see it. Hmm. Paul's building an addition, so maybe they're just so they're doing is expanding. Expanding. So they're not showing. Yeah. I don't see the sock cut. Hmm. It's not real clear. No. That's the demolition overall site. Proposed concrete. So, well, maybe they're going this way. Maybe there's one further along it. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, there's a railroad. So they're coming closer to the road. It looks like North Street. Okay, maybe that's what they mm -hmm. they want to put on and yeah. go closer. Right. Okay, so that's it. So that's why they need to go before the zone because they'd be putting it right on right the, on the edge of road. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's another one of those uh, courtesy no. notification that we don't have anything to do with. That we don't, yeah. It's already, uh, it must have been before the board and, yeah, that's North Street. And that's uh, the extent of the mail. Pretty much the mail, other than, uh, I'm not why, sure why this is in there, but about safety clothes and 
trash receptacles, more for the town, the uh, highway department, but, or a rec department, or, but mostly uh, safety equipment. I don't think we need I'm any. I'm prepared. Do we need any? You, you're already set. So we don't need Conservation Commission clothes, huh? No. <laughs> Unless you really want no, to. No, 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 no. I'm just joking. Have it embroidered on your shirt or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> and let's see. Next meeting. Next meeting. Let's see what else was there. Oh, yeah, there was this. Uh, we can just take a look at it. This is what. I know Priscilla did it last last year and just reviewed it, but seeing Sue hasn't done it yet, I just threw this together. We got to put a little something in the uh, con con um, under con con for the town uh, town meeting or not town meeting, but the town uh, what do you want to call it? yearly report. <laughs> so I just did, you know just give them a little idea what went on. Not everything. I don't know why nobody else, the word ones that do it. I don't think the zoning does it or the planning department. I don't believe they do. That was recovery Oh, okay. All right. So just a couple of those major ones that we did do. Of course, we had a lot of little stuff, but. Mm -hmm. So the next one would be for setting up the meeting which is the 26th March 26th that's the next yeah yeah Thursday, final Thursday of March and that's uh, the beer and wine at the library yeah. that is the Tilton library wine fundraiser yeah. yes what time is that <laughs> uh, that starts at 6 uh -huh. actually for so the benefit for the eight, Tilton yeah. library <laughs> buy your tickets please yeah. <laughs> so we convene there and then we come over yeah. and start the meeting. Is that how it works? <laughs> That's if you guys, you know, were even thinking of it. Or. Yeah. Um, so um, it's my mother's 92nd birthday. That's what you were thinking? No, no it is my mother's 92nd is it? birthday. Oh, yeah. okay. I remember well. last year because yeah, my daughter's was the 28th, and mm -hmm. that's when it was that Thursday. We, you know, we did it different. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, so I don't know if it. And you, if you guys can make that, or um, I can, I'm sure I'm available. Yeah, and, uh, works. Pending no disaster or coronavirus, we yeah. should be fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I think we should plan the meeting. I I I would like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, support the Tilton Library. Uh, yeah, no, I went last year, and I've gone, you know, yeah. every now and then. Not at yeah. all. Yeah. I can, uh, I can take a break. Okay. <laughs> All right. From it. So next meeting is March 26th? March 26th, yeah. We we will have something on. Uh, I know there's one RDA that we will review for uh, the next little section on, uh, on Greenfield Road north of where we just approved the uh, Atlantic 10 driveway there. There's one. So that that there will you know we'll have a site visit probably just to, we'll have to take a look because there is some wetlands in that area across from Yankee Candle. Mm -hmm. So we can plan on you know that. Yep. I don't know. It's, whatever you feel, I know it still gets dark earlier, so we can't you know we'll have to do it around five or something. I believe it's still not too bad. Or somewhere oh, around there, but I'll, I'll get yeah. back to you guys. And yeah, it's getting lighter. Yeah, I'll get back to you and let you know on the site visit. Well, I'm trying and to study up a little else. bit, but I'll learn from you all as we What's, go along. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a group effort. Yeah, that right. is. So we did that, I guess. Uh, Can we make a motion to adjourn? I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.